Hi friends, I am Karthik Ravindra Kate and this is Kate Tutorials. And in this class, we are going to discuss about chemical properties of pyridine. What are the chemical properties of pyridine? First, we shall concentrate on basic strength. And it is the very important in competitive exam. They will give like these compounds. They, here I have written four compounds. And they will ask us to arrange in the increasing or decreasing order of their basic strength. Isn't it? This is what amine, primary amine. What is this? This is pyridine. What is this? Aniline. This is also primary amine, but it is aniline. We have aromatic compound here. And this is pyro, which we have discussed here. So what is the basic strength? Which is more basic and which is least basic? Before going to that, let us know some basic phenomena of basicity. See, this is NH3, ammonia. It has got lone pair of electron. One which has got lone pair of electron and which is able to donate that lone pair of electron to the other is called basic. Because of these lone pair of electron, this ammonia is basic in nature. See, as I have written the four compounds above, all those four compounds have lone pair of electrons on ammonia. That is on nitrogen. Isn't it? Yeah. All that nitrogens have lone pair of electron. But the basicity varies. Why it varies? Because the basicity not depends only on nitrogen. It depends upon the surrounding atoms. Based on the surrounding atoms, the basicity depends. See, here RNH2, R is any methyl, methyl, such groups will be there and those will going to donate the electron density towards nitrogen because of which the nitrogen easily donates the electron density to the electrophile or any other thing so it will be good basic isn't it and here the hybridization of nitrogen is sp3 sp3 because of which lesser the percentage of sp3 in sp3 the percentage of self, uh, this s will be around 25% Lesser the percentage of S character in hybridization, it will not be so near to the nucleus. If it is near to the nucleus, it will hold that electron. Since it is sp3, it is just 25%, it is not going to hold that electron. So it, is, it can be easily donated. And also because of plus I effect of R group, it is basic. Isn't it? Here, what happens with pyridine? See, pyridine is here nitrogen is sp2 hybridized. So, the percentage of uh, this uh, S character is around 33.3 percent. So, the S character is more, so it will be near to the nucleus. So, the nucleus will have nucleus means what? Protons, positive charge. So, it, it is going to attract the electron. So, it is not going to give that electron so easily as in case of sp3. So, it will be less basic compared to this two. Compared to this, it will be less basic because of sp2 hybridization. And these electron pairs are not involved in the resonance. They are out of the plane, so it can be easily donated. What happens in aniline and pyro? Let us discuss. See in aniline, we have this. This is the aniline. This is aniline, NH2. Here also, it has got low pair of electron. It should be more basic. But what happens is, this will involve in resonance like this. Because of the involvement of those electron in resonance, so it will be less basic. See, it involves in resonance because of which it will be less basic. And these are the resonating structures of anything. Double bond here, minus here, double bond here. Then it shifts here, then comes here. So these are the resonating structure of anilene. Sorry. Minus here, then go here, then go here. Then the final structure will be like this. It takes that electron and becomes again with the 
and if the nodes were here, we got the same structure. So this is the resonance. Because of these two node pair of electrons involving resonance before giving that node pair of electron, these are less spacing. They are still less spacing. But the hybridization of nitrogen is still sp3. But because of the involvement of that node pair of electron in resonance, that is nothing but mesomeric effect. Mesomeric effect is nothing but there the nitrogen is nitrogen, that is heteroatoms are going to involve in conjugation. Resonance that is mesomeric effect because of that mesomeric effect it is still less basic. What about uh, that is pyrrole? See, the one thing is in pyrrole the nitrogen is sp2, here it is sp3. Let me give all idea about this hybridization. Here in pyrrole the hybridization is sp2, first thing. So, S character is around 33.3 percent more. And the second thing is, see, if it does not donate this lone pair of electrons to the ring, then the ring has only 4 pi electrons. It is not stable, it is anti-aromatic. To become aromatic, it takes these 2 lone pair of electrons. So, total it will be 6 lone pair of electrons. So, nitrogen is going to donate that 2 lone pair of electrons to the ring. It is going to donate. So, there is no chance of donating to the other. So, it will be least basic or I have told uh, in pyrrole it will be more acidic. I mean it will be little acidic in nature not the basic because that lone pair of electrons involved in the aromatic to get that aromaticity it has donated that lone pair of electron because of which it will be less basic, least basic or it will be little acidic in character. So because of acidic hybridization and also because of aromaticity. To become aromatic, it is going to donate that lone pair of electron to the ring because of which it will be least basic, so it acts as little acidic. The class of acidic I have explained, explained in one of my class why uh, this uh, pyrrole is acidic in nature. If I treat this uh, pyrrole with aqueous KOH, which is a strong base, then there we will get a salt like this. This is the salt. It generates H plus and becomes minus and K plus will attack here and we will get salt and water. This structure we will get salt and water. Acid when react with base. This is base and it acts as acid. Acid when react with base gives salt and water. So it will be not basic, it will be actually little acidic in nature. So the order of basicity. This one is more basic. Why? Because of pressa effect and sp3 hybridization. It will be less basic because of sp2 hybridization. But these lone pair of electrons will not involve in ring because the ring is having 6 pi electrons. See, 2, 4, 6 pi electrons. So these are not involved in any resonance, but these are out of the plane. Because of sp2 hybridization, it, will, it is still less basic. Here also the ring is 6 pi electron. No doubt, no. it has 6 pi electron. But what is, see here, double bond, single bond, double bond. There is conjugation. Because of that conjugation, it will undergo resonance. But here no conjugation. Double bond is attached to here. There is no conjugation. But here it is conjugation. So these involve in resonance. Because of which it is still less basic. Maybe it is sp3, but it is still less basic because of resonance. That is, I explained because of mesomeric effect. And about pyrrole, to get aromatic, it has completely donated its lone pair of electron to the ring. So it, it will be acidic in nature. So they have given us the pKg value for this compost. Let me write this. I think I have explained you nicely about it and it will be asked in any of the concrete exams. So you please be prepared with it and RMH, see PKB, the PKB value of this is 4 and for that peridine it is, PKB is 8.8 and for anilin PKB is 9.4 and for pyrrole PKB is 13.6. From this it is clear that one which has greater PKB, it is less basic in nature. 
all which has greater pkb less basic in nature and we know that kb is inversely proportional to pkb both are inversely proportional if it is more it will be less or it will be less or it will be more from this i can generally write as greater the kb lesser the pkb isn't it greater the kb lesser will be the pkb more will be the bccd bccd see this the pkb for this is small then the kb will be for this compound will be more greater the kb lesser the pkb more will be the bccd See here. Greater the PKB, greater the PKB, lesser will be the KB, and it will be least basic, isn't it? You, you should generalize this statement, and you should remember all these things. And next class, we shall discuss some other electrophilic substitution reactions. I have, I have one more. Ah, let me discuss this also. See, this is pyridine. We know this is what pyridine. No gas electron are out, out of the ring, but in the same plane. And nickel, in presence of nickel, hydrogenation is made. Then six hydrogen total three three moles of H two is six hydrogen will add. How they will add like this, and it becomes like this reduction. And it is hexa 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 hydro. Pyridine. See, the six hydrogen added to one, two, three, four, five, six. All these six compounds, and we got hexahydropyridine. It is the structure of hexahydropyridine, and it is the reduction. And this is good reducing agent. You need to remember this also. Next class, we shall meet and we shall complete this. Uh, complete the. Discussion on pyridine. Till then, take care and have a great day. Thank you.